Photoshop CS5 has replaced the Extraction plugin feature with the new Refine Mask found under the Select menu. This handy feature is great for extracting objects when the magic wand or clipping path isn't enough or your object is too detailed. Keep in mind that the better the resolution of your photograph, the better your extraction will be. Alright, let's go into Photoshop. Keep in mind while you're viewing this video that I have my screen resolution set a little bit lower so that I can broadcast a bigger file without uh, quite so much file size. I grab this little mouse out of stock here and zoom in. You can see he's got some good whiskers going on and some light fur details. Let's go ahead and double click the background and float it to a new layer. Now coming over here to the um, quick selection tool, um, let's just go ahead and kind of swipe through him. The quick selection tool is going to allow you to just kind of grab a range of things as you go. And you can stop at any time and come back and either use the shift key or the alt option key to subtract from the selection. So I'm going to add a little bit more into this selection. Down to that foot there. I'll wait for it a little bit. So got toes there, and a couple of his other little toes. That should be enough of his belly area. Uh, let's get the little guy's chest in there, and then let's see if I can come back here and remove some of this. I don't quite need all of that. At any time, you can come back in with the lasso tool or any other of the selection tools and deselect the little bit of area you don't want. Now let's go ahead and choose Select and Refine Edge to make the extraction. The extraction window has now come up and you can kind of see a black outline of, of the mouse here. I have the view set for black background. It's good contrast so I can see what's going to be extracted. You have edge detection of smart radius. I like to turn that on a little bit so that I know at least a pixel or two shows up in my fine areas. Over here you have your two tools, which will be the refine radius tool and erase refinements tool. You have smooth, feather, contrast, and shift edge. I like to just start out with the sh edge shifted up a little bit, like 50%, just so I can see what's going on. And then I'll begin with the refine radius tool. I can come over here along the back side of the mouse with the refine radius and if you can see a little bit these it's going to start pulling up the fur on the mouse. Come back over here and see if I can refine some of that out a little bit. Head over to his whiskers and pull out his whiskers. This is a great way to get fine details like hair. Um, into your objects. Uh, if you can't use a clipping path, I mean who wants to put a clipping path around thousands of little hairs it would take forever. Now I'm not going to do the extraction of everything here but uh, let's go back in here and show you the erase refinements tool. I got a little bit under his chin. I'll just hit that and that'll take it out. I'm just going to go over here and see if it'll re improve some of that with the refine, with the refine tool. Come in here Nope, didn't do what I wanted, so I'll just undo that. And let's go into the belly and grab some of his fur here. And pull down a little bit. Okay, see that was just a little bit too much, so let's go ahead and erase that. Let's go in there and give it a good swoosh. And go back to the Refine Radius tool, and let's decrease the brush size by using the bracket. Uh, upper and lower bracket will increase and decrease brush size. It allows the scope to just search out a smaller area. You can pull out slower in a little bit uh, in one direction if you want to like, get the hairs to be a little bit finer. Okay, and let's just zoom back down a little bit so that we can kind of see the whole thing. You can see he's got a little bit of a white glow around him. So let's go ahead and ask for decontaminate colors and what we'll do here is we'll just pull that white edge down just a little bit. Now at any time your selection can be modified. You can shift the edge way up and get a lot of detail or you can kind of bring it down a little bit till you got kind of where you're looking for. I want to see some whiskers but not a lot of white. 
Let's go ahead and choose uh, Output to a New Layer in your Photoshop document, and we'll choose OK. We'll wait for it here, and you'll see it's going to show up. It still has the original layer intact. It's kind of hard to see on the transparent background, but his whiskers did indeed extract pretty well in here. Um, you can see they're faint. The refined edge gave a little bit of extra glow in here. I know it's probably a little hard to see um, with compressed video, but he's there. So let's go ahead and save him as a Photoshop document with layers. And we'll just call him mouse from stock or grab him out of stock. And I'll choose save with maximum compatibility. When saving with Photoshop layers is turned on, you can drop it right into InDesign and not have to worry about a clipping path or detecting edges. Alright, I've got an InDesign document started with a little sample layout, so let's close this and go to a layout that I have started. And I will go to my desktop and grab the Photoshop file that I just made. We'll go ahead and drop it in here. And kind of wait for it to show up. There it is. And my mouse is actually pretty big, so let's go ahead and give it a reduction in size and drag it over. And there you can see Mr. Mouse with his whiskers is nicely extracted.